Thank you for viewing this brief demonstration of the Third Wave Business Systems credit card solution for SAP Business One. In today's demonstration, we'll show the version 2.2 PA DSS certified credit card solution. Third Wave's credit card solution is an SAP certified solution as well as a PA DSS certified solution. This helps your organization fast track your way to meeting PCI compliance. Today, we will show where users can enter and manage credit card sensitive information staying within the guidelines established by the PCI. We'll show where organizations have the option of authorizing a transaction at either a sales order, delivery, or an invoice screen. Now users will have the ability to use a single credit card or multiple credit cards against a single transaction in SAP Business One. We'll show where authorization numbers will be visible to users at a sales order, delivery, and invoice screen. Although we will not be showing this functionality in this particular demo, users now have the ability to apply credit cards against a down payment invoice within the SAP Business One solution with complete traceability to the ultimate closing invoice. Today, we will show how users can automate the credit card processing time by simply using a batch process for fast and easy processing. Lastly, with Third Wave Business Systems credit card solution, users can now settle and create an incoming payment in SAP Business One in just a couple of simple, easy steps. Now let's move on to the demo. In today's brief demonstration, we will show taking multiple credit cards against a single transaction in SAP Business One. Let's begin at the Business Partner Master Data screen. We've selected Norm Thompson as our business partner to work with for this demonstration. When looking at the Payment Terms tab, we can see under Payment Terms, Norm Thompson has been identified as a credit card type account, which means any time a transaction takes place using the Norm Thompson account, that transaction will use a credit card to process that transaction. You can also see that we've introduced a new tab named Credit Card. Let's take a look at the Credit Card tab at this time. When selecting the Credit Card tab, you can see we have two grids. On the left-hand side of our grid, we have all of the credit cards that are associated with this account listed in our data grid. In the right-hand side of our grid, we've got the information that's associated with each credit card. You can also see that we have the ability to set a credit card as the default credit card for an account, as well remove a credit card from a business partner master screen. Let's take a look at the master card that's associated with the Norm Thompson account. As you can see, when selecting MasterCard, the data in the right-hand side of our grid changes. We see the credit card number information has been encrypted. We can see the expiration date. We can also see that this credit card has been selected as a default credit card for this business partner. We can exclude from AVS checking at the business partner level, or this can be set as a global setting during the initial setup. Below this in the grid is the address information associated with this credit card. Now let's move on to create a sales order. We'll simply add his contact information in, add in a date, an item, make a quantity of two. We'll add the order. As you can see, upon clicking the Add button, a system message appears. Would you like to authorize this document? With the third wave business systems credit card solution for SAP Business One, we have the ability to authorize at a sales order, a delivery, or an invoice screen. Let's go ahead and authorize it this time. The credit card authorization screen appears with the default credit card associated with the Norm Thompson account populating the authorization screen. You'll also notice on the left-hand side of the grid, we have the ability to do a credit card markup type. We could select none or a fixed amount or a percentage of the sales order. This setting can be set during the, the setup of the initial system as well managed here at the business partner level. Let's go ahead and enter an amount. We're going to fill in the CVV number first, which is the number on the back of the credit card. We're going to split this transaction across two separate credit cards. So let's add in a random amount of $255 on this first card. You'll notice here the overall amount was $498.20. The remaining balance due is $243.20. Let's go ahead and select an additional card. After selecting the additional card, 
we see that the data grid on the right-hand side is blank. We now have the ability, using the drop-down arrow on the credit card name, to select an alternative credit card. Let's select the Visa card. The Visa information associated with the Norm Thompson account populates the screen. We enter that CVV number. To bring over the remaining balance, we can manually key in the number or simply enter the B key on our keyboard to bring over that balance. Now let's move ahead and authorize these two credit card numbers against this transaction. You see at the bottom here the green bar, the transaction has been completed successfully. If we scroll to the bottom of this screen in the authorization window, we can see the authorization code that's associated with each card. Additionally, we can see that information back at the sales order. Let's take a quick look. Back here at the sales order, we can see a credit card tab has been added to the sales order. When selecting the credit card log tab, we can see two credit cards associated with this transaction have been authorized successfully with the authorization codes and the amounts for each respective credit card. Now let's move ahead and invoice this particular transaction. For the purposes of this demonstration, we'll skip the delivery mode but understand the flexibility within the Third Wave Business Systems credit card solution does allow you to follow your particular business processes within the application. So let's use the simple copy to process to convert the invoice. The invoice has been added. We'll scroll back to that invoice. The last step remaining would be to settle and create the incoming payment associated with this particular invoice. This can be done on an individual basis by simply doing a right click on the invoice, selecting the credit card authorization settle and pay option, or what most people do today is go to the banking module, incoming payments, credit card processing, batch processing where they have a view of all of the credit card transactions in a given period of time. We have the ability within the credit card processing screen to select all of the transactions in a given day or just select transactions we wish to settle and create the incoming payment for. As you can see, the invoice we just created was invoice number 181. There are two transactions here for invoice number 181 because we used two separate credit cards and if I scroll to the right, you'll see the credit card information associated with those two transactions in their respective amounts is listed here. We'll go ahead and select these two transactions. We'll leave the checkbox turned on for settle and create incoming payment. Now let's process those two transactions. As you can see, the transactions have been completed successfully and the credit card batch processing screen removes the transactions that have been completed successfully. Now let's look at the last incoming payment that was created in SAP Business One by the Third Wave Business Systems credit card solution. Here you can see against document number 181, the invoice, we have created the incoming payment of $498.20 against this transaction using two credit cards to pay for this transaction. This concludes this brief demonstration of the Third Wave Business Systems credit card solution for SAP Business One. Please be sure to visit our YouTube channel to see other videos of our credit card solution and other Third Wave Business Systems add-on solutions for SAP Business One. Thank you.